for your praise, we thank you for your glory, we thank you for all that you have done for us, Lord Father. May you lift us up, Lord Father, in this, in this new year coming to us. Continue to, to shower on us, uh, uh, shower our pastor, Lord God, with more that you can, that you can point to us, Lord God. Praise and I give you Father. In the other name, but to the blessed in Jesus' name, amen. amen.
Jesus. Cancer, lose in the name of Jesus. Lose it in the name of Jesus. Lose it in the name of Jesus. Every debt, every financial burden, lose in the name of Jesus. Mercy, Lord, mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy we come for today. Mercy, because we're going to receive that compassion. We're going to receive that. We're going to receive that today to go free, to go into 2023. It's an unlimited season. Just say it. Give God a pray. Give God a pray. Loose. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Loose. You know, and as we look at that, as we look at that very same chapter, chapter 18, we see salvation all through it. All through it, all through it. Because when you recognize it, it's only the king could have released the man from the death. And I want to tell you something here today. Every one of us owes a debt that we cannot pay. So say thank God for Jesus Christ on the cross. Say thank God for what he did on the cross. Because the king could call you at any time. The king could call you at any time. You understand what I'm saying? So this story is a serious story, you know. This is salvation all wrapped up in it, you know. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Because Jesus self telling us, he said, any point in time, the king could call any one of you. And if you if you don't know how to cry for mercy, if you can't put your hand on that, if you can't put yourself under the heavy hand of the Lord, you ain't gonna receive that mercy and you can't pay that debt, you will have to go into the everlasting fire. Amen, Amen. hallelujah. So salvation, pay now. In this chapter, play you now in Matthew chapter 18 and salvation only comes from the cross. Say mercy, 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 Lord. Mercy, 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 loose. We're breaking your free from all things today. And everything had to fall apart. You know, every evil intent had to fall off for your life. Everything had to drop right now in the name of Jesus. Mercy, Lord, mercy. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. You know, and when we go back to the book of Romans, when we go back to the book of Romans, the same chapter we just read, chapter 15. How many of you know how many chapters in the book of Romans? 16 chapters. 16 chapters. So the book just about to end. It's just about to end. The book just about to close in. Now, Romans is a letter that Paul wrote to the church in Rome. You know that? Giving them instruction on how to run the church in Rome. So, Paul, at this point in time, telling them, he now disclosed to them, after reading miles and miles of pages. I wonder if you get what going on here. Paul reading, Paul write to them miles and miles of pages. From chapter 1 to chapter 15, they read it in anticipation that Paul coming to see them in Rome. That's what the whole thing is about here. They in Rome reading this letter from Paul in anticipation of Paul coming. So Paul waited till almost the end of the letter to tell them that I'm not going to be there. You can imagine that. Eh? You go through a whole process with anticipation. And when you almost get to the end of the process, you ain't receive what you was looking for. You hear what I'm telling you today? Say loose. Say loose. Mercy, Lord. Mercy. Mercy, God. Mercy, 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 mercy. So that's what taking place here in chapter 15. So they don't get the bad news from Paul. That I'm not coming. So Paul tells them this. He said, hey, what? I ain't coming to you because I gotta go to Macedonia. I had to go to Macedonia and I had to go to Achaia first and get what he calls a blessing from them. Because he says, I will not come unto you unless I have sealed that blessing first. Because the saints at Jerusalem had to get blessed. Because they ministered unto them the spiritual things. So they had to bring back now the carnal things. You understand what I'm telling you? So it take us back to Matthew chapter 11. Remember what we were saying in Matthew chapter 18 last week? That you, every action that they reciprocate the action. You remember that? Every action that they reciprocate the action. The king loosed the man from the debt. And then he went and he tried to acquire a debt that was from another man. So he didn't reciprocate the action. It, it, it's like, you can't bless right now unless you bless. You understand what I'm telling you? 
You, you can't kill unless you have been given. You can't teach unless you have been taught. So the action has to be reciprocate. So if you're not blessing, you yourself holding back what you're saying, you should have been it. You should have been a blessing. Amen. So if you're not blessing, then you're saying you ain't blessed. Amen. If you ain't giving, then you're saying you ain't get. And if you ain't teaching, then you say you haven't been taught. Mercy. mercy. Ask God for mercy. Luke. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So that's what Paul come and do here now in chapter 15. He comes and he tells the saints in Rome, he says, I'm not coming to you until I first secure what the saints in Macedonia and Achaia have for them in Jerusalem. You get me? I want you to hear this good today. Listen good. What Paul telling them is this, that I ain't coming to you until I seal the blessing, until I secure the giving. You understand what I'm telling you? I can't move forward and come to you until I secure the giving. Until you secure the giving, until you secure that blessing, nobody ain't moving forward. You hear what the Lord saying today? Amen. You hear what I'm telling you? Amen. Paul telling me, say, I'm coming in. But I don't go so, and I don't go so, and I don't go so. And until I secure that, I can't come to you. And it's the same thing that we all go into as a church today. Until we secure the correct thing first, nobody is moving forward. Mercy, Lord. Mercy. Acts of mercy. mercy. Acts of mercy. Because we're losing here today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We had to do the right thing first before anything could come to you. The right thing had to be done first before anything could come to you. You get me today? You had to do the right thing first before anything could step into your life. You had to secure the right thing right now to step into the correct season in 2023. You get me right now? This is what Paul telling them, you know. He said, you had, I had to do certain things right now before I could come to you, mercy. mercy. It's mercy we require from God right now. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. But you know, we, we're going into seasons, right? We're going into seasons. Amen. 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 Seasons. 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 So turn to the book of Genesis, chapter 1. Remember, I told all of you all who was here before. You had to be quick with these scriptures here today. The book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 14. Verse 14. Verse 14. I'll give you a couple seconds. Verse 14. Hallelujah. Hear what it says in verse 14 in the book of Genesis. It says, and God said, and God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. God said that. Eh? So the first thing God does is separate all things by the light and the darkness so that we will be able to differentiate and move into seasons. We will know how to move into seasons. Now we have a lot of scripture and seasons. The next one taking it together right now is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Come on, come on. You all there with me? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. And here it begins. Here Paul begins in verse 1. He says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, they have no need that I write unto you. So Paul talking to this Thessalonian church as if they are mature believers in Christ. He said, I don't have to explain this season to you. He said, But of the times and the seasons, he said, I have no right to explain it to you. I don't have to write unto you. You know why? Let me tell you something. Because Paul taking their day, understand the season that they're supposed to be. You know what kind of season they are? They're in a quick season right now and they didn't even recognize it. They're in a quick season right now. You in a quick season. You know you're in a quick season? Just say amen in a quick season. Yeah. Let me show you this from verse 2 here where he says, For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so come as a thief in the night. It's a quick season. Believe in Christ, you in a quick season right now. And let's get loose and depositing you into an understanding of where you are right now. You're in a quick season. Say quick season. Quick season. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction 
coming upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But you, brethren, you in a quick season. So you ain't going to fall into that category. He says, but ye, brethren, are not in what? Darkness. And that day should overtake you as a thief because you're in a quick season, beloved believer in Christ. You in a quick season, you're not in a bad season, you're not in a season of darkness, you are in a season of light. So what going to catch you? Things ain't going to catch you because you're in a quick season. Amen. Hallelujah. So he says, yeah, all the children of the light and the children of the day, we are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and of the hope of salvation. For God had not appointed us to run, but to what? Obtain salvation by the Lord Jesus Christ. Not by anything you do. Yeah. Everything depends on Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross. Yeah. Salvation is obtained only by Jesus Christ and what he did. The Lord says so. God says so. The scripture says so. Amen. So separate yourself from anything. Even right now. But hear this. Who died for us? Whether we wake or sleep. We should live together with him. You all get it? Yes. Whether you're dead or whether you're living, you're in a quick season. Amen. You ain't yet to know, you ain't yet to know, otherwise you can go to prayer. You ain't pick it up yet. You see, whether you're sleeping or whether you're awake, you're in the right season.
Hear what it says. We're going from 14 loop. I want you to stay with me here. Stay with me here. Stay with me here. You with me? Because we're going to wrap up some things. We're going to wrap up this message. And then I'm going to call back the worship and come and worship while we break in to 2023 in prayer. Amen. So stay with me. Hear what we say from verse 14. He says, Behold, the days come. Say the Lord. Say who? Oh. I am you say who? Lord. He says that I will perform the good thing which I have promised unto the house of Israel and to the house of Judah. Now I'll tell you something about this Israel and this Judah. A lot of people believe because the Bible says Israel and Judah, the whole of Israel say it, but I am so they got to believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. They have to believe in the resurrection. Amen. Who don't believe in the resurrection is an unbeliever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So here when he goes on, he says verse 15 in those days. And at that time, I want you to look at the scriptures good. In those days and at that time, will I cause the branch of righteousness to grow up unto David, and he shall execute judgment and righteousness in the land. In those days shall Judah be saved, and Jerusalem shall dwell safely, and this is the name wherewith she shall be called. The Lord is our Amen. The Lord is our For thus said the Lord God. Hear this. For thus said the Lord, David, I want you to repeat this with me. David shall never. Come on, going again. David shall never. One more time. David shall never, the Bible says. Never. David shall never, never, ever want a man to sit upon the throne of the house of Israel because Jesus Christ rose from the dead and it can't have no other king in Israel but Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Bible says never. David will never want a man. Amen. Again, this. No, no. Something in Israel. So here what he says after that. Neither. So he never now applying to the priests also here now. He says, Neither shall the priests, the Levites, want a man before me to offer burnt offerings. That will never happen again and to kindle meat offerings. Never happen again and to do sacrifice continually. Never happen again. Everybody wants sacrifice to God and it's Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So we end the day. We end the day. We the right. Let's be the right season. Just say amen. In the right place. Just say amen. We let them lose today before we go ahead to a new season in 2023. A season full of prosperity. A season full of blessing. A season full of deliverance. upon the throne and the priest never he said we will never need priests to continually make sacrifices but like they're missing something they're missing something because like they read this they read this because we're in the days we're in the days that the bible talking about we're in the right season whether we're making or whether we're sleeping we're in the right season yes amen still mercy Holding here today. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Mercy Lord. Mercy. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Listen, I see some things lifting today. I see some things lifting today. Some healing not taking place. And some prayers not being answered. Who had a prayer there? Who been praying for a while? Who been praying for a while? Who been asking for a while? Hallelujah. Break free today. No mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. All right, listen to this verse. Listen to this verse. And he says, and the word of the Lord, verse 19. Verse 19, I want you to keep up. Verse 19. Verse 19. And he says, and the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah, saying, Jesus Christ. 
and the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah saying, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, mercy in the place of him. Mercy in the place of him. Mercy. And he said, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah saying, hear what the word of the Lord, thus said, he said, the word of the Lord came saying to Jeremiah, thus said the Lord God, if you could break my covenant, if you could break my covenant of the day, my covenant of the night, and that there should not be day and night in their season. He said, Then, you get me? You listen me? He said, Then, may also my covenant be broken with my servant David, that he should not have a son to reign upon the children with the Levites and priests and my ministers. They can't stop night and day from coming, so God's promise is everlasting and perpetual. So God take them back to Genesis, you know. He take them back to Genesis. Wait till them, he said, day and night will be established for what? For times and seasons and day and night. And he come back in Jeremiah, he tell them, he said, David will never want a man in each other. He said, the priest and will not be making sacrifices continually. He said, that will never, never happen again after the cross. And he said, the only way to stop that is because they have to stop the day from coming and the night from coming. And nobody can interfere with what God do in the right season. Say, Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. You have to into the season. You know the season. You know the season. Nobody is saying it. Nobody is saying it. You're in the season. You're in the season. You're not the sleeping people. You're the weird people. You're in the season. Amen. You're in the season. So hallelujah, what he says now. He says, then may also my covenant be broken with David, my sister, that he should not have a son to reign upon his throne and with the Levites, the priests, my ministers. As the host of heaven cannot be numbered. The host of heaven cannot be numbered. I wonder if you hear me. The host of heaven cannot be numbered. It have one till here. So the battle really, when you in Christ, is two to one. Every time the enemy come at you once, God release two for you. Amen. I want you to get it. Every time the enemy send an issue, God release two solutions. Amen. Every time the enemy come and he tries to terrorize you, God sent two to fight on your behalf. Amen. Hallelujah. Every time you try to breach your walls, He sent two to guard your gates. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come to your Christmas. Amen. Because you're in the right season. You match right. Everything that when they fear one turn from down here, everybody gets scared like they didn't realize that two turns had your back in Christ Jesus. Amen. So He says this. As the host of heaven cannot be numbered, neither the sand of the sea measure. So will I multiply the seed of David, my servant, and the Levites that minister unto me. Moreover, the word of Jeremiah came against me. Considerest thou not what these people have spoken, saying the two families which the Lord had chosen, he had even cast them off. Thus they have despised my people that they should be no more a nation before them. Beloved believers, beloved believers, you have been deposited into a season where whatever was following you can't pursue you anymore. Yeah. Yeah. You have been deposited into a position Ready now to go in to step into blessings. Say amen. Amen. You have been deposited into an area in your life right now that favor is just going to continually come amen. around. Amen. So long. Amen. Just say amen. amen. You have been placed in a position right now that wherever you needed healing, whether it's physical, whether it's emotional or mental, you are in that right place right now. Just say amen. amen. I tell you something else here today. No devil in hell 
will interfere with you. Amen. Because the king sits on the throne. Amen. 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 Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Let me come together with fellowship. That's not communion. Communion is when we place ourselves when we sang to keep and the sacredness of the living in the emblems that we hold as they represent the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. The Bible says from verses 19. From verses 18, it says, For first of all, when you come together in the church, and let's talk any better. When you come together in church, I hear that there be divisions among you, and I partly believe it. For there must also be heresies among you that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. When you come together, therefore, into one place, this is not to eat the Lord's supper. Fellowship is different to what we are about to partake. For in eating, everyone taking before other his own supper, and one is hungry and another is drunk. What? Have you not houses to eat and drink in? What is spies in the church of God? And shame them that have not. What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, that same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which was broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. You may break and part in Father, we will never thank you. The very said scripture says, after the same manner also, he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you for releasing us into 2023. Into awesome seasons, O Lord God. Of provision, of prosperity, of favor, of truth, of financial freedom, a season of completion, season of answered prayer, season of healing, season of deliverance. He's not turning around. We see a lot this day with your precious blood. We will drink. So the scripture says, do this as often in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes. Which means that there is no expiration with partaking of the communion. You all understand that? Yes. We have to partake of the communion as often as the church comes together. The cup represents the New Testament in his blood. By partaking, we seal the word that we receive today. We seal the deliverance. We seal the breakthrough, the favor, and the depositing. And the depositing into 2023.
and I was given the opportunity to have a volleyball scholarship. However, in my second game, I have I injured my knee. So instead of me crying, I was actually very calm about the situation because I know that everything's ha everything happens for a reason and everybody has their season. So always have an attitude of gratitude no matter what. God will never give you something and a state that we can do because what is for you is for you. Amen. 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 Yeah, everything depends on God and all the scholarships we have. Amen. Amen. How far we reaching in the academic area? Amen is Jesus. Amen. You know what I'm saying? It's all about Christ, amen? Amen. Right, anybody else? This is your time, you know. This is your time to go. When we start from here, it's until it's done. So if you have anything to share, God put anything on your heart, on your spirit, yes, come now. Come now. Now is the time. Don't be shy, don't be afraid. There's one family in Christ Jesus, amen? amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The brethren and the sister, amen? Amen. Right, so don't be afraid of the one that we have. Come, encourage. Because we are all in the land of the living. Amen. All that went on, all that has passed by. Look at us. We are here. Amen. 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 So we have enough to give God all the praise and thanks for that glory. Let's give our God a hand clap, a big hand clap. So I thank God for sparing my life, for sparing our lives, each and every one of us. And I thank Him so much. As I believe with faith that He's going to take us from 2022 into 2023 with health, strength, God's favor, and all our hearts desire. As I hear the people saying, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that risen up against us in judgment shall be already condemned. I thank God that we are able to run this race with patience. I thank God for our pastor who has, in, has um, looked, who has, God has anointed, and to give us all that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Sister Sinead, God bless you for Amen. your service to Brother Christopher, Amen. the worship team, all of us, and all who stand in the I really, really thank God, and may God continue to bless us and keep us, and may this ministry grow from, from grace to grace, favor to favor. Everything that we put our hands to, I pray in God's Name that we will prosper wherever the soul of our shall tread upon. I pray that God is going to give us dominion. Amen. And this year, and this coming year, 2023, will be a year of prosperity and Amen. all the desire that we have in our heart for ministry and everything else. And God is going to bless us abundantly. And I thank God in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus. Amen. I say Jesus. You want to say hello? Look at all Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I'd just like to say happy new year and I hope you will have a very prosperous one to come and always keep Jesus. Amen. 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 Good afternoon. This is Matthew. This is Matthew being live wire on the online. When Matthew on the online, the online live. <laughs> <laughs> this is the man. This is the man. Now, yeah, what? They, they have a chat group, an official chat group, and they have an unofficial chat group, I understand. Eh? Huh? What's the. Come on, Matthew. I just want to. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I just want to thank God for like a bunch 
trying to keep with us, and I don't want to look. I just want to thank God for just keeping us safe and together, and giving us the strength to come here and do it again. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. No, but we really, really, really need to say something. I really, really, really.